What's up guys? Silas back again today. It's mid-afternoon already. I had something going on this morning so I didn't do any recording and this afternoon I was busy with some customers. It's about 3.30 now. I had to run a truck out here to the ranch. I didn't have room for it at the yard and I'm getting ready to take the equipment out of there to go do the Studebaker cleanup. So I thought I'd just bring it out here and drop it off but I bought several other old trucks over the last week or so and my dad brought one in so I thought I'd show you guys a few of the old trucks that have come in lately. Another one's coming into the farm. Here's the first one. I believe it's an L series. This is the truck I just came out here to help him unload. Uh, don't know exactly what year it is. It was a 361 engine. The en engine is gone though. Pretty rusty truck. Not much left of it. It's probably just junk. But it's got a really cool nose on it. That's a fiberglass hood, so I'll have to cut that with a sawzall. But that'll make a really good wall hanger. It's got a really good look to it. And it's not going to be super heavy being fiberglass. So I'll take my sawzall one of these days, and I'll cut it right about here. All the way across. And then it's got a few other odds and end pieces. These emblems, those will probably sell. Uh, the doors, I don't really think those are worth saving. They're not that interesting. They don't say anything. Let's see what's in it. Here's the radio. Oh, it still has a copper radiator laying in the seat. I'm shocked they didn't pull that out of it. Oh, that instrument cluster there, I've sold those before. Temperature controls and all that, I've sold all that stuff before. These trucks, parts don't sell very fast is the only issue, but there's none of these on the market. When I sold my, my dash parts, there was none on eBay, period. Mine were the only ones. And so whatever price I wanted to put on them. So I think I sold them for 100 bucks, 150 bucks, whatever it was. Untested, sold as is. And they took about a year and a half to sell. And then I think I sold the temperature control piece for another 75 bucks. So, I mean, it's whatever price you want to charge within reason. If you make it too high, nobody will do it. But yeah, I'll probably pull those out. Pull the nose off of it. Pull the emblems off the hood. And then the rest of this truck will probably go onto the scrapper. Got some odds and ends junk in the back of it. The bed's rusted out, so I don't really see any reason to hang on to it for anything. This will be a wintertime project. This isn't something I'd be wanting to do in the summer. It's way too hot to be cutting up old trucks. Just odds and ends, nothing spectacular in the back of it. Just scrap it all, all that'll just stay right in there where it's at. You know, I'm really shocked this trailer hasn't folded again in the middle because that thing was completely folded down to the ground when it wrecked. I haven't even looked under it yet, but it's been sitting out here for several weeks now. There's the inside of it. You can see the roof's pretty well gone. It's not really usable for anything. If the roof wasn't gone off of it, and that wall wasn't caved out like that so bad. I'd put something over the top of it a little bit to keep it dry and use it for storage. But I'd put some braces underneath it to hold it up and I could store stuff in it, but as far gone as it is, I'm just gonna rip it apart for the aluminum at some point. Here's the next one. I kinda showed you guys this one the other day a little bit. I think it's a 49, 48 or 49 Chevy. I haven't even looked at this one yet. This is one my dad dropped off one day when I wasn't here. It looks pretty solid. It's got a big dent down there in the cab corner, but it's not rusted out. Whenever you're looking at one of these trucks, at least in this area, the most common places they rust is down there, and then they rust over here in the kick panels. Which this one is actually really solid, even down here by the mount is all still pretty well solid. Looks like just a tiny, tiny bit of rust. Same thing on the other side it looks like. Looks like it has the deluxe heater in it. It's got the radio delete, all the chrome pieces on the dash. Gauges are still in it. The headliner's even halfway still in it. Dome light. 
this truck actually looks pretty clean and then you want to look at this up here this piece here if this windshield leaks all this will rot out but all this trim is in really good shape still this stuff's worth a fortune just these two pieces of trim that go around the windshield that's worth really good money so there's a lot of good pieces on here it's old time turn signal so if a guy was to part this cab out he could do pretty good but as nice as this cab is the guy really ought to keep it whole and sell it whole it's even got what's left of the old door panels on it and they're not good you can buy those new but the the trim pieces are still on it so yeah this is definitely a nice truck and always check down here in the bottom of the doors which this one here is rock solid as well the hinge pockets are good there is very very little rust in this truck this is a very clean truck this is one that definitely needs to be built sometimes they'll rot out along here this one has a little bit of bubble rust but not too bad that could all be fixed without too much trouble and out here by the vents sometimes they rust out which isn't solid and the vent up top this one looks to be solid you got to check down underneath this sometimes you can do that inside the cab this in here is all really good really good condition fenders aren't too bad now this is a big truck and so the hood grill and fenders are different than a half ton but the cab is identical so I'll probably cut the nose off for wall art if I cut it right about right about here all the way across cut it right there that'll make a really good wall hanger it's got excellent patina to it it's got that greenish color to it still it's got the headlights in it still all that now a guy doesn't need the bumper and this filler panel right here is in really good condition and they don't make these aftermarket for the big trucks they make half tons brand new but big truck pieces that's probably about a $200 piece plus shipping right there I've sold those before online they're kind of a pain to package not too bad I mean really the only thing you have to do is make sure the box doesn't get folded in half beyond that you can't really hurt them they're just really awkward size but that's that's a good piece there this fender's got some damage but that won't matter for wall art what a guy will do is once this is cut off come in here with a rubber mallet and kind of beat that back out a little bit this side of the cab is in really good condition too cab corners rock solid on this side no rust one little tiny dent this is a very very good cab I'm really impressed with it you check the roof out up here I see it had the old light bar on it and so that's not nearly as bad a lot of these have the single lights all the way across and they had a rubber gasket underneath them and that'll rot out sometimes and ruin the cab up top but yeah it's not all crunched in so yeah for sure that that cab will sell really good that's probably cab and front clip all together you're probably looking at you know between twelve and fifteen hundred dollars is what that'll bring popped open the hood looks like it has the old Babbitt 216 in it got the horn in it still the guy said this engine runs I don't know I haven't tried it's got the old fuse box on it over there those sell really good online the regulators sell really good everything seems to sell pretty good on these if the guy has time for it all But yeah all sorts of good seat pieces I'm not sure if this engine turns I guess we'll try it out real quick see if it'll turn move that out of the way oh yeah it turns good turns great and still has compression so I bet with some fresh gas and a battery this engine would fire right up the only thing that's going to be holding me up from getting started on that Studebaker cleanup is this truck right here. I keep having all sorts of issues with it. I mean, I guess that's what I get for buying a 1993 model truck. But I've replaced just about everything on the truck, and the few things that I haven't replaced yet keep going bad. But it's got all new brakes all the way around on it now. I may wind up having to replace the brake booster because that's been having issues, I think. And the power string leaks like crazy, and nobody seems to be able to get me a hose for it. So we'll see what happens there. Hopefully I can get it going because I kind of need that in order to get my torch out there. But worst case scenario, I'll get the Chevy going again and I'll use it. I just can't pull my trailer with it. I think I've got the 47 Buick sold. I'm not sure. The guy's supposed to come look at it this week. We'll see if he shows up. Hopefully he does. If not, I'm sure somebody will buy it eventually. And if not, 
Probably next month I'm going to go ahead and cut the nose off of it. Here's another one that I just bought. Now this one here is really cool. I really enjoy this truck. Mainly I just like the utility box on it with these fancy wheel wheels. I'm not sure what era this is. I would guess, if I had to guess, I would say early 60s with that styling. I believe it's an old Naphide bed. Uh, there's the serial number on it. Model something F. I can't really tell what year it is. If you can look at the serial number and kind of figure out what year this is, let me know in the comments. But it's just a really cool bed. All the doors work on it. It's not rusted out. It's got all these shelves in it. Just about burnt my hand. That was a dumb idea. That handle's been sitting out there in the sun and I just grabbed it barehanded. It's a hot one today. But, opened up. It's all good in here still. A lot of times these beds completely rot out up in here. And this in here is all still solid. The handles need greased up a little bit and the, I don't have a key to the locks, but it even has toolboxes up on top, which I'll go open the other ones so I don't burn my hand again. But it's not all beat up. It has a good bumper on the back of it still. It's just a cool old bed. There we go. It's got all these shelves and this actually sets down in the side of here. So it's just a really neat setup. There we go. It's got lots of storage space. I think this would make a really good overland trailer is what I was kind of thinking. I don't know if you guys have seen those overland trailers where they have the tents up above. That sort of stuff. I would take it and I would probably take the axle out of it and put a regular trailer axle under it. But for now I would just leave the truck axle. Put some good tires on it. The truck itself is a 73 model, I believe. It's not in bad condition. It's still pretty good, really. It's got a little bit of rust down here in the fender. Cab corners have a little bit. The floor has a little bit. But it's all just small spots of rust that could be patched. The hood's kinked a little bit on this side. It was a 454 truck. But the engine's been taken out and it's just got a 350 in it. It actually ran perfect when they parked it. But uh, some mice got in it, ate the wiring up, and it wouldn't start anymore. And they just had some issues with that, so they just left it sitting out in the field for all these years. The passenger window's broken out. Four-speed truck. Custom Deluxe. But my plans of turning it into a trailer may have fallen through because I have somebody wanting to buy the truck minus the bed. So I'll still have the bed. I could mount it on a different frame and make a trailer out of it anyway. But at the same time, it's kind of like, do I do that or do I just sell that utility bed? Because, you know, I could probably advertise that bed for a thousand bucks. It's a very unique styling. It's in really good condition still. And it would probably bring between, you know, 600 to a thousand bucks. So, and then I sell the truck so I can make some money on it. Or I could just go ahead and keep it. I'm getting enough out of the truck to get my money back out of the whole deal. So I basically have the bed for free. So at this point, I'm not sure what the best route to go is on it. I'll show you guys this car real quick. This is not my car. The guy that rents the shop from me is working on this car off and on. It's a pretty cool car though. Old Trans Am. All original T-top car. It runs and drives. It's a pretty slick car really. Automatic. Not in bad condition for being all original. The paint could be, uh, could use a renewing. But just for a survivor car, it's a pretty cool car. No rust. You just never know what you'll see around here. So I think I'm about done out here. I got a bunch more cool old cars and sometime I'll make a video of just doing nothing but going through the old cars. But I'll probably do it when it's a little bit less windy so it's a little bit easier to record without audio cutting out and that sort of stuff. So I'll wait. And we'll probably wait till it's a little bit cooler because it's another hot one. My phone keeps overheating. Actually kind of funny, earlier I, the, he was still here working in the garage and I, he has a little mini fridge in there. I asked if I could borrow his fridge and he said, yeah, sure. So I went and took my phone, threw it in the fridge and let it cool down for a little bit. All right, guys, that's all for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm probably going to crush one more day at the yard and then I'm going to go ahead and head out and get started at the new cleanup job.
that's the game plan. We'll see if it happens. As you guys know, game plans very rarely happen. But anyway, I want you guys to remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.